What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States and in this episode we are going to break open the city of Valletta and this is important because it means that we can then free up these troops and drop them in to fight against the Ottomans although we do have significant troops in the area already but let us not digress we have deployed a significant amount of men so let's get at it and attack the city of Malta. They have no mortars, which is lovely, so we can pound them into submission prior to our eventual assault. And then we can... Well, actually we could... Do we create a corps of troops whose job will be to push against the Indian factions? Probably is the answer I'd say to that. We have a significant number of men gathering in the Baltics to head west and pushing down through the Middle East, well, towards the Middle East, clearing out Russia. And we'll be fighting against the, uh, well, we're butting up against the Indian factions there. Interesting. I think I do have to keep some troops aside for that invasion, but Keep our riflemen and two units of infantry attacking the breach. Spread out. Spread out my guys. Maybe a bit further back that way. Uh, the lion's share of the cavalry going around the flank. We'll keep one unit here. Good. Gunners engage the target, engage the wall. Quick climbing howitzers are pretty much able to free fire. No, one of you drop shots in the center here. Because look at that. Sweet, sweet cavalry. So many synchronized screams. Especially as we aren't... So the AI has a habit of when you right-click and attack them, they'll then charge out. But because I'm attack grounding nearby, and the quickline makes an egg shape cloud, it will do some good damage. So I want to watch. Okay, here's another volley against the wall. So I want to quickly see what... I want to see. Uh, I want to see another quick limb shot against the uh, against the cavalry. Will will look like. So obviously there are some misfires, but roughly, oh god, alive, beautiful. And usually with quick climb, there's three guns. You can usually assume that one will one gun will hit the target every time. But look at that. That's how you clear out cavalry with their hovering. Sabres. Poor souls. And another... Another volley. The unit of line infantry is so damaged that it may... They want to break. They've been cut down to half strength. But destroying the cavalry is one one key aspect to what we want to do. To try and get in here quickly. Because I think the reinforcement should come from over there if the game made sense. Big ask. So. Oh, short round. Oh god alive, this isn't even fair. There we go, then they redeploy. Well, I think that's probably the last I want to do, firing against them. We've done so much damage that we don't want them to rout. I wouldn't mind a quick climb hit here, kill a good bunch of chaps trying to position themselves ahead of where the main threat's going. Well, not, well, that's not where the main threat's going to come from. It's going to come from over here. Oh, 
But if we can make a breach... Let's make sure I do target the howitzers appropriately. And we wiped that unit out. Down to six men. Six. The wall has collapsed and the shots that came straight through smashed into the command HQ. So it begins. But yeah, I don't really want to do any more damage to them. What I need to get, well I will send a couple of units around to make sure I secure the gatehouses. Quick climbing howitzers focus on units in the centre. Because these guys, you brave men, do what you like. <laughs> to be honest, they may even rout well, they might it might have routed, routed if they got within range of my skirmishes. So, let's put an infantry unit down here as a blocker. A guard unit can wait nearby. One engineer unit scale the wall there. Another engineer unit, near unit scale the wall there. You scale there. You block. This unit's going to run over to here to climb up before take, trying to take that gatehouse in case it doesn't flip. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at my rifleman. And the lovely green coats. My gunners focus fire on the breach, just attack ground. I might lose a handful of men from friendly fire for this. Nope, they've decided they don't want to do that anyway. Attack ground just ahead of the breach. Or some units are charging out to meet me. Look at these engineers. Mass on the bridge. Then you will cross. You stop firing. It appears they don't really want to push out. Good. These guys are going to climb the wall pretty quick because they are they're actually doing what they're supposed to do and they've spread out. And here comes the first regiment of force. You men form square. So it's the unit of militia that's charging out, or attempting to uh, push. If you guys can scale the wall quickly enough, you can capture it before they get their regiment of horse through. Charge across the bridge, you men charge in because the thing is with these guys is they don't have bayonets so my engineers are going to do a, a pretty decent job against them the gates aren't ours for some reason you men can run over to that gate Halt the artillery. Oh, my guys aren't even 
fire at willing. No wonder they're getting away with it so easy. Charge in. You men hold fire. This gate is ours. Run everyone in. So let's run these guys over to here first. So they don't run down across. Make them run along. So the shortest distance they'll want to go is straight over the straight over the bridge. Come on, everyone's gagging to get through. God, these engineers are... Okay. Come on, kill these chaps, take the breach, and then we can get in. Yeah, so some of them have decided to run across the diagonal, but not many. Okay, there's so few enemy troops. Just focus on running in so we don't all get stuck back here. Get you guys onto the central point. So our cavalry is going to do a real number on them. Our engineers are doing a fairly good job. This cavalry doesn't yet have a purpose. Because these men are stuck trying to fight the 4th regiment. Charge them in through the breach. We're probably going to kill a bunch of our own riflemen because of it, but whatever. Actually, yeah, call them off, just run through. Form square! So that's where the reinforcements are coming in from. Look at you men, man the battlements! Fortunately, thanks to the square, we're able to... Well, we've got enough numbers here anyway. Okay, let's try... Clear up. Let's try clear a way in... With quicklime. We are successfully resetting our... Captures, but... It's not going to work in the long run. General's been killed. No regiment of horse, I told you to run away. It's part of the problem where they just get... When they just get hooked into the combat, you really have to keep an eye on them. Like, we've still not taken... This gate... No. Keep all my artillery hitting there. Then just sit with my cavalry facing the uh, the other way. Yeah, the artillery is just doing a real. It's really knocking him for six. Keep the artillery opening up on them. Make my let my infantry have a crack even at these deserters. But 
Yeah, fundamentally, you guys are going to have to deploy square. These men can now get inside. Because the cavalry is going to come charging around the flank. At least these are foot guards. Firing up onto the wall. Are they still... Yeah, they're still... Ugh. Come on. Halt all the artillery fire. Charge in. It's you guys against one line infantryman. The infantry starting to make progress. The Murray Guardsmen, you can see off a lot of that cavalry pretty well. And the flag is slowly being lowered. Actually, to be honest, I might just keep these guys as an anchor in case something bad goes wrong. Not that it should. My guards here don't know, should do a really good job at holding off lots of this cavalry because it's pretty poor quality. I'm not quite sure who you're shooting at, but let's line you like this. Keep holding guardsmen. I mean, they're only provincial cavalry. They're not very good. If you could just kill him, kill them, that would be lovely. Because then I could get you to take positions firing down onto the men here. Oh, they're actually using my own defences against me. Not that it matters. The timer has just ticked over. I'm not capturing the gate, otherwise that would have caused problems, but there we go. The city is ours. And then, like I said, we do have an interesting conundrum on how do we approach using these men. Unfortunately, they do, they do like us. The dockyard can be demolished because it will be surplus to requirements. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six full armies waiting to go west. Seven. Probably more than that. And then we've also got a bunch of armies here that currently don't have anywhere to go, who will probably also go down who who will go down here. Because if we don't even if we don't need them to fight against the the, the Indians yet, we will need them to fight against the British. So you guys to the north here are not required stay in a holding pattern you can continue to drive down towards astrakhan as can you you can continue to hold this army and nina boscovich can make quickest progress towards Tarki. spy infiltrate esfahan This force, can you leave Don Voisco? You can! Let's leave you under this command of this army. You guys push up as well. 
sure how that happened, but let's do that. And let's also repair... Well, it says seminary. It is a... Yeah, it's an orthodox building. Let's just do repairs. Okay. So, we do also have this big pocket of troops here. As well as we've got a couple of units here. Let's take Signore. Alfio Perti and advance him towards Corna Naili. So every, I think we may as well take advantage of attacking these individual Ottoman stacks because we do have a uh, quite a serious need to uh, whittle away those troops that are currently sat hunkered down around Athens. We're currently advance, advancing on the city with six armies. Okay, two guns trun two yeah, two guns trundle at the centre. Three infantry and guardsmen can take the right flank. The remainder of the infantry, including a unit of militia advance up the left these gunners stay in reserve howitzers oh I'm a deploy I'm deploying way far behind I'm an idiot in which case then um I thought yeah I saw this red line I thought that was theirs but theirs is back there let's cut them to bits as they try and push towards us. Don't need don't need all of our units of guns. Undeployed infantry can hold back. My cavalry can space themselves such that they can ride out and mow, mow them down. Shrapnel shot the Royal Mamluk Guards. Although, yeah, they didn't like that. Oh, I didn't think they liked that even more. How are Royal Mamluk Guards? Oh no. They were just calling our bluff. Oh no, they were toying with us at range, trying to avoid our volleys. But still, they've deployed quite far back. In anticipation of our push. Push the household cavalry up. It looks like they are probably going to push towards us, but let's let them rue that decision. Field artillery, keep firing round shot. You aim at the pikes, you aim at any unit. Let's get a quick climbing howitzer unit, focusing on the pikes, particularly one unit hit the Nizam. You men run, because these Mamelukes are dangerously in position. Here come the Sekban Janissaries. And they fall back as I pull my cavalry back, and they are going to get a serious amount of musketry heading their way. <laughs> they changed their mind. Hold on, I need to sort out my blind a minute. There we go. Come on. Bring our cavalry in because they're wavering. Take advantage of their morale state. There we go. Let's 
push up a little bit, get both of our quick climbing houses to focus fire on the pikemen. Yeah, they probably don't appreciate what we're doing to the Janissaries, so I expect them there to be a bit of a chase. My cavalry round to hit those Azars. Devastating damage done to the pikemen, so we can charge in. The pikemen have been just annihilated. Let's get our... Okay, right, we've got some round-shotting artillery to contend with. Let's abandon those as ours completely, assume my general can take care of them. But the main effort has to be continuing to damage their fleeing units. Bring another Mameluk unit across. These two units redeploy to face down the first order. There we go. Keep folding the flanks in. Okay, let's let the sec bands rout. We've killed the pikes. Let's bring our cav more cavalry in. To the fight. Come on, you men charge down those guys. Let's charge our horse guards into the flank of the Mamelukes. The sec bands have returned, it appears. Well, these Azars are going to fail, then we will retarget. No, my general has fallen against fighting Azars. Oh well. The victory that will be wrought in his name will more than compensate. Okay, so chase down the first Nizam. You men can continue to chase down that unit of Azars. Damn good looking infantry. Although now they will die. Hit the Israeli instead. I'm probably going to speed up time because it is now just that unit of. Oh, the Mamluks came back. Bring back my heavy cavalry to fight them. They may successfully negotiate or facilitate the, f the escape of their, uh, the bulk of their elite troops. Watch out guys, the sec bands have got their pistols. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Got a new slaughter every every Azar you can find. Because they are responsible for the death of your general. Chomp. No Feline Musketeers for you. So this is the kind of thing we need to do to chip away at the uh, the reserves of Ottoman manpower. Too bad Alfeo Perti was the was one of our 170 men lost. Pepino Volta, it is now up to you. And I can now fall you men back a bit. Bring Ludovico Scopoli ahead. 
Well, Pietro Cavotto can push up. And then this force here at Istanbul and Niccolo Luzzatto can cross the strait and also provide backup. God, do you not have any more than basic roads? Dear, dear, dear. So Enrico Castro is he's taking some time to uh, rebuild his strength. These guys are a bit of a concern, but I'm, let's see what they do. Pushing down through the Caucasus. Okay, so generally... Right, what I, what I would rather like, what I would like to have, rather than what I've got, is... I don't mind sending military fleets across, but I would like ships that I specifically know are geared towards um, transport. So Gianfranco Adorno, you men embark on the Grand Fleet. Our best our best armies can take can take Grand Fleets across. Mario Tor Torricelli, you men can embark. Signore. But I would like just bog standard transport ships. I mean, second rates are quite a quite grand uh, transport ships, I suppose. But they'll do. A so you men embark. Balthazare embark. You can sail up to here and pick up Añejo Fierro. You can steal that cavalry unit, although that does make him quite overweight, overweight as far as cavalry is concerned. Sail over. We have one second rate. Because this army is a bit beaten up. Nevertheless. Let us deploy our armies forward. We are actually at war with the Mughals, correct? Yes, we are. I just just thought I'd check. Hey, there's a... Shit, they must have got chased out there. Okay, let's get you guys back to Portsmouth. Ah, I know what I can use you for. You've got this army here. I mean, I'm going to take his unit of mercenaries. This unit of mercenaries to beef them up. There we go. Oop. See, so when I've when it's late game like this, maneuvering at high altitude is a bit tricky. But transport our armies, we must. I do appreciate we have Iceland still to capture. But we can't let that stand in the way of our strategic need to get more troops over to America. We don't. That's part of the reason why we have troops being recruited in England, and that's to uh, to go and take Iceland. So you need cavalry. Yeah, one more turn, and that'll be two stacks, and it'll be nearly three. Uh, yeah, most of what you guys can recruit, you can no longer actually recruit. You're getting some horse guards, you've got all your artillery. Recruiting three more cavalry units, that means you can get five more infantry. There we go. Let's actually take 
these two damaged four traits over to Greenwich. And they're going to fit in a bit more there. Let's upgrade you to a commercial basin. So I suspect these chaps may end up actually being uh, deployed to land around Mysore or to secure Ceylon. But we do have a bit of a way to go yet. One year's recruiting the last technology we need. So let's hit end turn. And there goes our spy network. God, we're recruiting a lot of stuff. Lots of troops. So, Ottoman Empire, you have to do something. You can't just sit there and let us slowly push up to the capital because we will they might sell they, they might push out and hit us in a massive counter-attack which if they do that'd be pretty neat okay it's time to get around us at cairo so we're probably gonna have to intercept and push that army back and we need to build something in the ter in the venice territory they'll be amazed once we've knocked down our university when we say there is now no more learning we could possibly learn The Russians are massing all their strength near Astrakhan. Ooh. Oh, I remember those chaps. Okay, that might screw us over. We do still have troops in that region. Aha, the Mughals have shown their hand. They've landed against Paramaribo, so we can land reinforcements. Thanks to our excellent transport network. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. So. Oh god, all of our fleets have arrived. So, first of all. Where the Russians are. Obviously we have you guys here. And we also have you guys here. So we've got two armies, plus obviously a bunch of other stuff. Um, what else did we want? Well, you're going to push forward and put Taki under siege. You can't quite reach Astrakhan. You guys could. And bring them in as reinforcements. That's not a terrible idea, because in one in well in one turn that destroys the Russians. That's quite good. So I might actually then push you guys to here to block the British. So our fleet is our fleet has arrived. But first, what I want to do is take this force of troops here to Pietro Castelli, get them aboard ship in Kingston. This sloop can sail to Demerara, where they will exchange deployments with the brig, with this brig. They will land, they will disembark. And they will march to this side of the Mughals if they let us. Because I didn't want to fight them and push them east because I'll just take Cayenne. So if I fight them here, I can at least keep them blocked up one end. So. One force can be dispatched. So the Huron. How annoying are you? Not very. How many territories do you have? Two. We will dispatch one army to York Factory to dispatch uh, to uh, attack the Huron here. We will send another army to Moose Factory 
to land and attack the Mughals there. Very poorly defended as well. We will send one of our large armies this way towards Quebec. This is more like it. This is what you're used to seeing. You will land it to Dusac. Your men will march out, put Quebec under siege. The reason why I'm not directly fighting them is because I want I want to set my set all my ducks up in a row before attacking. Good God, the Ottomans are not. <laughs> I mean, they'll fold pretty quick because they're all just pretty basic armies. Um, I'm going to send. So I'm pretty sure the Inuit. They're at war with Britain. We will free them of that burden by attacking them ourselves. Then we will land two armies off of the north coast of Acadia. We could just... I mean, we could actually just land them... Make landfall at Louisbourg. Disembark Mario Torricelli. Who will advance towards Fort Nashwack. Our spy will push up to Boston. The navy will sail further along the coast. Raiding these shipyards as we go and gain intelligence on what awaits us. And this force will also land at Louisbourg and you will disembark. And you will also march up. That is quite a... even though I've dumped a whole bunch of troops into this endeavour, it's, it's still not a lot. I mean, I have been quite heavy-handed at deploying them against the, the native factions and so on, but I am planning on this army taking York Factory in um, Yankton, so I would imagine this army's out of it for a while. This army's going to fight and take Moose Factory and probably have to deal with this combat up there on their own. I'll have one army up here in, in, with the, um, the native factions here, which, again, they might be there for a while. It's always easier to do this just to make sure you don't you haven't missed a fleet arrival anywhere else. Okay. So recruitment in Moscow, England. Okay, 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 okay. Lots of lots of generals up here actually. So you need Two skirmishes if you can get them, but you can't get them, so two units of line will do. Right, we have got a whole bucket load of fights on the horizon. These guys, they I don't think, well, I think they're actually going to be needed against the, uh, in the Americas, so, uh, what's likely going to happen is that I'm going to get these guys aboard sloops. get them over to America. I don't think they'll be needed in the uh, the fight. In the fight against the Ottomans. I think they're going to be needed to help put down the Mughal Empire's colonial ambitions. Radical pamphlet here. <laughs> Take my leaflet. No, do it. Agent detected. Oh, that's our guy up here. But yeah, we've got a fight against Astrakhan, fight against Tarki, then a whole bunch of stuff in America. <laughs> so this is going to keep us busy for a long time. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So what I'm going to do is start the episode by attacking 
Astrakhan. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time when we will secure the Russian territory of Astrakhan. Cheers, everyone.